So in this video, we will learn how to integrate WhatsApp Cloud API with Zoho CRM. So in this video, I'll show you how you can set WhatsApp messages for events in Zoho CRM. Suppose you have added a new lead in Zoho CRM. How you can send a welcome message to that new lead or you have created a new contact or invoice or something like that on WhatsApp. Now how you can set up this automation and you can connect or integrate WhatsApp Cloud API with Zoho CRM to create automation of your choice. To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we'll go to our browser and search for P-A-P-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign into my own Pavli Connect account. And after signing in, we will reach to this all apps page of Pavli. Here, just click on access now below Pavli Connect. After clicking on access now, here we have reached to Pavli Connect's dashboard. In this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Zoho CRM to WhatsApp and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or the data of new lead, which are adding in our Zoho CRM account in Pavli Connect. And after that, guys, using Public Connect, we will send the WhatsApp message as a welcome message to those leads. Let's begin. So here in trigger window, in choose app, we will search for Zoho CRM. Zoho CRM it is. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, we will select new module entry. After selecting our trigger event, just click on connect and select add new connection over here. Now, guys, what we have to do? we have to basically connect our Zoho CRM account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Zoho CRM button. And here in this dialog box, it is asking us our Zoho CRM accounts domain. So how you are going to know what is your domain? Just go to your Zoho CRM account and here you will see the domain. So for example, as you can see, Zoho.com is the domain of my Zoho CRM account. So what we will be doing, we will be just copy that domain or select that domain from here and paste it over here, like zoho.com and click on save. After that, it is asking us for the authorization permission. So guys, as you saw that I have already logged into my Zoho CRM account in my browser. So Pavli Connect has detected the same account. And now it is asking us for the authorization permission. Just click on accept and we will see our Zoho CRM account gets connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the next thing, the first thing it asks us is the module name. And in the drop down below, you can see several different modules present in our Zoho CRM account over here in this list. So we have different events like leads, contacts, account deals, products, quotes, and all other details. So out of all of this, which detail we want to get, the addition of which new data we want to get from Zoho CRM in Pavli Connect. So we want to get the details of new leads, for example. So we will select leads over here. And then just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, we can see that it has changed to waiting for response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some response, some data of new lead from Zoho CRM. Now what we have to do, we have to basically add a new lead in Zoho CRM account. Now you can do this from your Zoho CRM's dashboard or admin account from here, or you can use a form. So for example, I have created this lead generation form in my Zoho CRM account. And for example, just suppose that I have added this form in my website. So whenever a user visits this form, they enter their details and submits it, that same user is added as a new lead in my Zoho CRM account. So let's use it. So for example, I'll enter the name of a dummy lead here, dummy name. This is the dummy email address. Let's enter a dummy mobile number or should I say uh, actual mobile number over here. 
and the company. So guys, whatever mobile number, whatever WhatsApp number the user will be entering over here in this field on the same mobile number, same WhatsApp number, we will send the WhatsApp message as a welcome. So just click on submit after entering all of these details. And the form is successfully submitted and the form submission has redirected me to this page. Now guys, we will see that the same lead whose details we have just now added in our form, the same person will be added as a new lead in our Zoho CRM account. Let's refresh this leads page. And yes, guys, dummy name, the same user is now added as a new lead in our Zoho CRM account. And because we have connected our Zoho CRM account with Pavli Connect, the details of the same lead will also be get captured in Pavli Connect workflow as well. And yes, here in Pavli Connect, in our trigger window response, we can see the details. Like we have the company of the new lead who has submitted the form, we have the email address, we will scroll down so we will find some other details of this new lead, like the name of the lead, email address, and all the other details, and also the mobile number. So in this way, guys, basically the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have connected our Zoho CRM account and with Pavli Connect, and we have received the details or the data of new lead added in our Zoho CRM account in Pavli Connect workflow as well. Now, after this, guys, what we want to do, we want to send a welcome message on WhatsApp to these leads on their number. Now, to do so, we will just scroll down and come to our action window over here. And in choose app, we will search for WhatsApp Cloud API. WhatsApp Cloud API it is, just select it. And after that, in action event from the drop down, select send template message. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, what we have to do, we have to basically connect our WhatsApp Cloud API account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection guys, Pavli Connect is asking us the token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID of our Cloud API account. So guys, I have already created my Cloud API account. That's why I have access to all of these details. But if you haven't created your WhatsApp Cloud API account yet, don't worry, we have a separate dedicated video on that too. And the link of that video will be in the description box below. You can refer to that video to know how you can set up your Cloud API account. And after creating your WhatsApp Cloud API account, you will reach to this app dashboard page of WhatsApp Cloud API. And at this page, you will find all the details which are required to make the connection, like the temporary access token, phone number ID, and WhatsApp business account ID. So just copy this phone number ID from here, go to public and next connection window, and paste it over here. After that, copy the WhatsApp business account ID and paste it over here. Then it is asking us for the token. And the help text below it says, enter system user generated permanent token as explained here. So guys, the token which this window is asking us is the permanent access token. But the token which we get at this app dashboard page is a temporary access token. This means guys, this temporary access token which we get at this dashboard will expire every 24 hours. But guys, don't worry, you can either use this token for 24 hours or you can basically generate a permanent access token which will never expire. So here in help text section, you can see a hyperlink. Just click on it and it will take you to a page on our forum. And at this page, you will find all the details regarding WhatsApp Cloud API, like how you can set up your account, how you can generate your permanent access token and other details as well. So you can refer to this page and generate your permanent access token and after that, just enter that token over here and click on save to make the connection. I have already made the connection, so I will select my existing old connection and click on save. After connecting it, the next thing it asks us is the template name. Now here you must be thinking, what are these templates? So templates are basically some predefined WhatsApp messages, which we want to send to our new leads. Now guys, to send WhatsApp messages using Cloud API, we have to basically create a template message in WhatsApp Cloud API and then we have to get that template approved from Facebook or should I say Meta. And after the approval, we can use that template to send messages to a new lead. Now guys, in the drop down below template name, you can see a list of all the templates which I have created in my WhatsApp Cloud API account and got approved. And if you want to create your own template, just go to this app dashboard page, scroll down and come to step two. And here at last, you will find a hyperlink. 
just click on it and it will take you to the new page at the message template page of WhatsApp Cloud API. At this page, you can see a list of all the template messages which we have created in our WhatsApp Cloud API account over here. And if you want to create a new template of your choice, by clicking on this create message template button, you can do that too. And if you don't know what is the process of creating a template, we also have a dedicated video on that too, in which I have completely explained that how you can create a message template in WhatsApp Cloud API and what are the features it offers. So you can refer to that video and create your own template message. So the template which we are going to use in this video is named as new lead signup. New lead signup it is, just select this template and yes, this is the kind of message which I want to send to my new leads. So here in body section, you will see that after high, I have added a number in double curly braces. So this number is basically a body field, a variable. And we add these kind of numbers, these kind of variables in our template message to add dynamic text. How it works, I'll show you in few seconds, but let's read a message first. Hi and after hi, we will mention the name of the new lead. For example, dummy. Hi dummy. Thanks for signing up. Welcome to. And after that, here we have another body field, another variable, like written number two in double curly braces. So this is also a body field, a variable. We are so lucky to have you as a precious user. You will be among the first to hear about new arrivals, big events and special offers. If you need any support, don't hesitate to reach out with questions. We would love to hear from you. Regards. So guys, here I have added after hi, I wanted to add the name of the person, name of the new lead over here. But the name of the new lead will be keep on changing for every new lead. So basically the name of the lead is a dynamic text, which will keep on changing. And to add these kind of dynamic text in our WhatsApp message, we add these kind of body fields or these kind of variables. So whatever name will be there of a new lead, whatever name we will be receiving of a new lead from Zoho CRM, that name will be mentioned over here after high in the WhatsApp message, which we sent on their number. And here in place of body field two, we will be entering, entering the name of our organization. For example, Pabli. So new lead sign up. So this is the template which we will be selecting in the drop down. New lead sign up. After selecting our template name, the language code and template ID are automatically detected. We don't have to make any changes over here. And then we will come to the recipient mobile number field. So here in this recipient mobile number field, we have to actually enter the WhatsApp number of the new lead on which we want to send the WhatsApp message. So we have the WhatsApp number, we have received the WhatsApp number, the mobile number of the new lead from Zoho CRM. So this is the response of the mobile number. And we will be basically mapping the same response of the mobile number over here in this recipient mobile number field. So guys here, we just have to basically click here and in the drop down below to map this data in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Zoho CRM can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, select this response of mobile number and it is mapped over here. So it is this simple to map the data in Pavli Connect workflow. We have just clicked here and from the drop down from the responses of Zoho CRM, we have mapped the mobile number. The help text below recipient mobile number says enter the recipient mobile number with country code without the plus sign. So it is asking us to enter the recipient mobile number with country code and without the plus sign, which means the country code for India is plus nine one. So we have to actually enter the nine one with the 10 digit mobile number, 10 digit WhatsApp number, but not the plus sign. So in this way only we have received the response from Zoho CRM. So if you haven't received the response or data in this way, if you only receive the 10 digit mobile number from your new leads, you can basically manually add the 91 sign before it. But right now in this data, we have successfully received the country code without the first plus sign. So we don't have to make any changes over here. Then after the recipient mobile number, the next thing it asks us is the body field one and the body field two. So as I have shown you in our template message, we have added two body fields, two variables. So after high in place of body field one, we wanted to add the name of the new lead. So here in public connect workflow in body field one, we have to basically map the name of the new lead, which we have received from Zoho CRM. And as we all saw, the process of mapping is very simple. 
simply click on this field and from the drop down below from the responses which we have received from Zoho CRM, select the response for the name of the lead. This is the name, this is the post name and we want to map the post name. Just select it and map it. And after that, in place of body field 2, we wanted to add the name of our organization. So the name of my organization will be the constant, will be the same for every message. So I will follow, for example, manually enter Pabli over here. And after entering all of these details, just click on save and send test request. Now, as we click on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a very positive response to us. This response shows that a WhatsApp message with our selected template and this data which we have mapped is sent to this number, basically on the number of the new lead. So let's check the WhatsApp account of this number. So let's go to WhatsApp. And yes, guys, we can see that we have received a WhatsApp message on this number, the same number which the lead has entered, which we have entered on our form while generating the lead, while adding the lead. So basically, guys, uh, the message says, Hi, dummy, means the name of the new lead. Thanks for signing up. Welcome to Pabli. We are so lucky to have you as a previous user. You will be among the first to hear about new arrivals, big events, and special offers. If you need any support, don't hesitate to reach out with the questions. We would love to hear from you. Regards. So this is the same template message, guys, which we have created in WhatsApp Cloud API. So in this way, guys, we can see that we have successfully created this automation using which whenever a new lead will be added in our Zoho CRM, instantly, automatically, a WhatsApp message, a welcome message on WhatsApp will be sent to the same lead using this automation. So after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once in real time. So what we are going to do, once again, we are going to submit the form which we have created or we are going to create a new lead in our Zoho CRM. So let's enter these details. So for example, this time the name of the person is test lead. This is the name. So first name is the test. So we should have the name test in our WhatsApp message. Let's enter the email address. This is the same mobile number. And this time let's enter the company as MB and click on submit. And the form is submitted. A new lead has been added in our Zeho CRM. Let's refresh this page and we will see this new leads detail over here. And this is it. And as we receive this new lead in Zoho CRM, instantly, automatically, a WhatsApp message will be sent to these leads mobile number. So let's check the WhatsApp account. We'll go to WhatsApp. And yes, guys, here, as you can see, we have just now received a WhatsApp message which says, Hi, test. Thanks for signing up. And we have the rest of the template message which we have created in WhatsApp Cloud API. So in this way, guys, we have tested this automation in real time and we saw that the automation which we have created is working perfectly fine. Now, guys, let's understand in brief that what are the steps we followed to set up this automation. So first, we have created a workflow in Pavli Connect. And in this workflow, we have selected Zoho CRM as our trigger application and new module entry, entry was our trigger event. And we have selected leads as the module. Then we have generated a new lead. We have added a new lead in our Zoho CRM so that we can get the details of that new lead in our Pavli Connect workflow. And after that, using Pavli Connect, we have sent a welcome message on WhatsApp to that newly added lead on their number. So not just these applications, guys, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing. You will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. And also, Pavli Connect offers you a forever free plan. And in this plan, you will get free tasks in your own Pavli Connect account every month. So if you want to try and test this automation workflow, you can do it for absolutely free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connects pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.